Hello everybody, it's Monica, and I have some pretty exciting photos and videos to share with you about some creatures that came into my garden and just destroyed some of my plants and changed the shape of my garden and brought me so much joy. But first, let me show you my co-host. This is a dendrobium orchid. And over the course of the past two or three hours, this flower has begun to open up, which is really exciting since this is a new plant friend of mine and I've never seen its flowers before. And the creatures that I was mentioning before are butterflies. And who better to know about the ins and outs of butterflies than a plant with flowers? because butterflies are, of course, pollinators. And pollinators contribute to the strength and vigor and reproduction of different plants. So, I went and bought some plants. I chose these particular plants because I knew that they could be food and hosts for other types of creatures. So the big salvia is hummingbird food and other pollinator food. And then I also got some milkweed, which I knew was a host plant for monarch butterflies. And there's another type of butterfly, but I don't recall which. Anyway, I didn't really expect to have any monarchs or any other types of caterpillars come. I just put the plants in the ground. And then one day I saw that the milkweed was just being eaten up by something. And so I searched and I found these tiny, tiny little caterpillars. caterpillars kept eating and eating and eating and then they created these amazing chrysalises. And out of these alien looking things emerged these spectacular butterflies. it opened more? Seems like it has. You can almost start to see inside. This is the type of adventure that it is to watch caterpillars turn into butterflies. Same type of adventure to see a flower open. It's so dramatic and so rewarding. This is part of what the caterpillars and the butterflies have taught me, and it's part of what the garden teaches me all the time. I could just sit and stare forever, but it's such a quickly changing thing that each moment is completely different than the moment before, and you get to have this sense of 
the admiration of life unfolding in front of you without getting to hold on to it. The next bunch of caterpillars that I have to show you are wild. They are, what are they called? The Eastern Swallowtail? Check them out. I went out and bought this rue plant that had these eggs on it that hatched into this crazy little caterpillar. And over the course of like a week, the caterpillar just kept on changing and changing. And as it would eat, it would shed its skin and turn into something that looked totally different. Like this, that is the same caterpillar. And then that turned into this. Isn't it wild? I don't have any pictures of the chrysalis, but this is what it looked like as a butterfly. And then there was another caterpillar that came into my garden via the rue plant, but it looked like bird poop. <laughs> so I called it the bird poop caterpillar. I know, very, very original name. It's actually the giant swallowtail. I only have one photo of it as a caterpillar. <laughs> This was the last caterpillar in this season of butterflies in the garden. And it chose to spend a fair amount of time with me before it flew away. So there you have it, a little glimpse of this amazing season of butterflies in my garden. Thank you so much for watching. And here's another little butterfly that I just happened to come across recently.